Here we are at Gardenville today, early April, sort of. Yeah, mid Actually, April. Mid yeah. April, yeah. And it's a fabulous sunny day. So we're out here planting, and we're planting an echinacea. What is it, Susan? An echinacea? It's a daisy-like perennial, really. Right. A perennial border. Now, they like hours and hours of sunshine. Their origin is the prairies of the United States, so you can imagine great expanses of these flowering in the wild. Oh, but, they'd be I mean, beautiful, they'd, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, now, of course, they're breeding different colours and varieties and all the rest of it. But it does need good sort of sunshine for a large part of the day. Right, so like okay. I had an email from someone, or we had an email from someone, saying that they need six hours sunshine a day. Right, okay, and so that's, forget yeah. about putting that in a shady area, I yeah. think. And yeah, and they don't, uh, they would therefore obviously not like a heavy soil either. Okay, now when so you say okay heavy, here. you mean a gluey, yucky? I mean yucky. a gluey sort of, yeah. So you need to add out. sand to your soil if you're going to be planting that. Well, if I it's would like it up with a bit of compost or, you know, soil right. addition or something like that. Okay, so here we have, you've soaked this in water. I soaked it first because it was quite dry so in the pot. pop it yeah. down and let the bubbles yeah. come up and, yeah. Okay. So you've got the gloves on, so I'm going to get you yeah. to take it out of the pot. Now, uh, I've noticed you tap them, yeah. I think. Yeah. You mean to loosen it. Like that and tap the edge. Oh, I'm learning, guys. You're learning. Okay. And then we're going to loosen the, up the roots. The yep. roots. We're getting there. Right. Okay. Pop them in the hole. I've got a good deep. Well, well you've put the right in a deep enough hole there, haven't you? Now yeah. this whole bed area is just being sorted out. But you you're talking about the there's a bit there. of feed in that soil. Is there, there is Susan? some soil conditioner in that, and although it's sort of dark, means, and it was quite a good job digging it. It it isn't that heavy. It's sort of fairly light and crumbly. Right. So okay. But you will need to watch this for water during the summer to and keep it watered. It's the same with any freshly planted stuff. Yeah. Because it hasn't, you don't want to over water because then you get them reliant on you for water rather than going looking. Now, does this plant grow to a big plant like? Is it? Uh, you're looking at about two feet from the, by the time it's planted. Oh, right, okay. And it'll spread, so it might sort of come up over here over the wall. Uh, it you want to be above wall height, yeah. Very oh, great. Yeah. yeah, so you'll see it. Yeah. Um, I have to clean all these beds here, they're in pretty. Well, the, the leaves, I mean, there's two ways of looking at it. In one respect, the leaves maybe don't look that attractive, but they will break down into the soil and improve the soil. Right, okay. They do can have slugs and things hiding under them. Which is a pain. So it's either you mulch them, you know, you leave them in, in back of shrub borders in some areas. Yeah into areas you want tidy, clean them up and put them in things like the leaf bags or a big wire cage. A bit the way we've yeah. done this before. And so you let it mulch down and yeah. then bring it back when it's done its when job. When it's done its job, then you yeah. bring it back and mulch the beds, keeps in moisture, lightens the soil. Now, just to say something, echinacea, you know, you buy in the pharmacy as a health thing for promoting your immune system. I think it's for the immune system. Yeah, people when they get cold, you see them so sweets or echinacea drops for um, to put into a drink so to increase I'd love somebody to contact us at, G at Gardenville and tell us do you know much about echinacea can you tell us about echinacea as a herb as a, a what is it as a, um, a healthy herbal so, products I suppose yeah yeah, yeah. Sort of um, a natural herbal product counter. yeah so I'm going to leave that there so that I know. So that you know and you don't yeah. Yeah, say, oh, look at this. Plastic w plastic e goods. double E D. <laughs> exactly. Not that I'm being rude. Okay, so there we are. We have that planted and we're on to our next. We're on to our next bit of bit hard of labor. Hard labor. Yeah.